You're being very clever, yes. You're making some interesting shapes there. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these extra strong magnets. I'm going to see if I can make one balance in the air above the others by using bits of cotton to hold it still. Right, what I'm trying to do here is stick some cotton on top of that magnet to hold the cotton in place with some sticky tape. You're in fun with those magnets there? Yeah. Good. Sticky tape. You're quite noisy with those magnets. down in four corners. Now we need to try and get these magnets underneath. It wants to turn over. I've got some balls. I don't know what I'm doing with them. Oh dear. I've got balls. This is not easy. This is not easy. I don't know. I've got a similar, but it's really not easy on this one. This one's powerful adults. This is so powerful. I have to think this out again, I think. Right, we're successful in the end. We had to use a smaller magnet for the suspended magnet. Not so much for the weight, but because the other one was too powerful and it was spinning the wires and turning itself over. So this one is now suspended. <laughs> or it was. Oh gosh, they're stiff. Alright, so say it is suspended, and if I move the magnets, yeah, you'll see it's able to turn over and attract itself then. So there we go, we have managed to suspend one magnet over the others. But it's certainly not as easy as I'd thought it might be. And if I try and use the same size magnet as these ones, then it just spins itself over and crashes down on top. See, it doesn't make any difference which way up it is. It 
suspended or repelled. 